Good afternoon, everybody. Olav here, and welcome back to Dark Parables, the Red Riding Hood Sisters. See? I can remember stuff. I actually can remember the title of the game that I'm playing. When I don't... I, I, I don't know why I couldn't... Bef I haven't been able to up till now. I don't know. So we have the Dawn Sword. So that should complete everybody. Yes, it does. And that opens a wardrobe. A wardrobe with a plant growing out of the top. Oh look! A pumpkin carriage! Hmm. And a glass slipper. Boy, I'm not sure what this is leading up to. I mean... There's pumpkins all over the place here. I, I just, I don't get it. There, there's mice? What do mice have to do with a pumpkin and with, with a pumpkin or a, a ruby or a glass slipper or anything like that? That is apparently what they think people are like. So they feel that they have to like literally beat you over the head with it. Well, not literally. I that's only because there's a lot of people that play these games and I think if they could they would totally have like this this hand come out with like a bat that just says Cinderella on it boom get it right okay so now we're look uh oh it's right there so it's the stopper Though it's not officially a stopper, it's the end of the heel. Okay. Does the owner of the pumpkin coach live in that stunning glass castle? I don't think so. So obviously, we put the glass slipper on the glass foot, and we get what? What are you? Fairy tale land insignia. Okay, Earthland Insignia. Are we, like, bridging the gap between the two? Because I'm not sure I want that. As much as people love, like, fairy tale land and, and, the, the, and all that type stuff, you gotta admit, there's some, there, there, there's some a holes out there that we don't want here. We really do not want people from fairy tale land here so i'm guessing if we put you guys up here that opens up another anvil so we've unlocked the uh what the the which one is this some years ago two childhood friends Teresa and Eldra were nominated to be the next Elder Sister in the Order of the Red Riding Hood Sisters. So this is the Fallen Sister. Calm and reliable, Teresa was widely regarded to be the favorite for the position. Seeking to prove her superiority, Eldra ventured into the fabled Mist Kingdom and defeated the Wolf Lord. And how did that turn out for her? Her victory gained her the White Wolf Talisman, a powerful relic which amplifies the user's negative feelings and grants the user special magical powers and command over the Mist Wolves. So not well. That's, that's what you're saying. The, to really summarize, this did not go well for her. Sensing its imminent destruction by Eldra, the talisman struck, magnifying Eldra's ambitious feelings by a hundredfold and tempting her with its power. Yeah, didn't go well. Corrupted by the talisman, 
Eldra plotted to use the Seven Moonstones to bring eternal night, bridge the Mist Kingdom to ours forever, unleash her Mist Wolves, and rule the world as the Wolf Queen. Pardon me. Pardon me. But this is a history lesson, is it not? This, this is like, it's, it's a written, it's a known story. But that's what we're fighting against right now. So if this has been a known story, why the hell didn't somebody do a, anything about it before now? I would like to know. So I think that's, yeah, that's all of them. That is, that is all of the, the, the parables. So what the heck am I supposed to do now? Maybe put the centaur bow on there? Yes. So now it's not a centaur bow, now it's a mist bow. So if I come up here. Hi, everybody. You're all staring. Well, just about everybody is staring at me. A couple of them aren't. So if I, like, fire off into the void. Okay. All right. So we need you there, you there. Oh, nope. Okay. Yes, you come over here. Yes, you go over. Boom. All right. So, yeah, it's basically just line them up, you know, make sure that they get in the right. Oh, and now we have... Nope, you stay over there. You go over there. All right, still not a big problem, still not a big deal. We, we've got this. Okay, so now it might be a bit of a big deal. Okay, now it's starting to get a little hectic here. Never mind! I thought it was going to be challenging and like hectic and... Not so much. Yeah, we ain't giving up without a fight. Go get him, ladies. Oh, and her, of course it has to be her lover. Oh, and he just shatters the moonstone and he doesn't hit her. That's that's kind of awesome because I think this world is collapsing. We need to leave now. Right. Lead the way? I never meant for this to happen. The talisman's control was too strong to resist. I only wanted to be the elder sister. Your desire for power brought you to this fate. But it pains me to lose you, Ultra. I'm glad you're here with me. So he's gonna stay with her and get destroyed with the world. Okay, well let's 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 get out. Thank you, Detective. You saved us all. Since the moon essence was destroyed, our world is no longer threatened with eternal darkness. You're welcome, what can I say? I'm just I'm awesome. Bruce. The sisters and I have decided to elect you, our bravest member, to be the new elder sister. And most you, sensibly sisters, clothed, I think. We found some wolf pups. 
Why don't we raise them to work with us rather than against us? Let this herald in the dawn of a new era between our sisterhood and the wolves. Cool! That sounds like a perfect idea. Four years later. Oh look, see they've even rebuilt that town. Wait, wasn't that missed village? Wasn't that like supposedly like this long lost village? And then they have the concept art. So alright, that was the the that was Dark Parables, the Red Riding Hood Sisters. Now this is the collector's edition. And we say thank you for playing. Hey, by the way, yes, the the did, did you did you did you get a clue? Did you do you have any clue whatsoever what our next story is gonna be? There's a, somebody in a glass slipper stepping out of a pumpkin carriage. Hmm. Still don't get it. I, what, what are you trying to tell me here? So now we can actually go into the bonus content and play the boy who cried wolf. A long time ago, there was a mischievous little boy who lived in the Mist Kingdom. He loved playing pranks, especially on unsuspecting merchants in the marketplace. One day, he cried wolf one too many times and got in trouble with his father. This is the third time you have tricked the villagers. You have given them a lot of trouble. This time, I will not let you out until you promise never to tell lies again. Okay, so yes, now we have a whole new story here. Um, nope, that's an arm bone, okay. Well, which one's the leg bone? Oh, there's a leg bone. That's too long for a leg bone. That should be a leg bone though. Yes, okay. No, that's an arm bone. I already tried that. That's the other arm bone. That's a thigh bone. That's a thigh bone. Now we need the hips. So we're rebuilding a little, we were rebuilding a very miniature ape. Like, very miniature ape. Now this one looks like it might, no, not quite. So we actually need like a little bit of the spine. Aha! Well, yes, but why won't, why can't you, oh, because I need to put on the bottom part of the rib cage, that side of the rib cage, right. I put you there! Why, why, why? Why? Do I have to put the head on first? Doesn't seem right. Apparently I did. Okay. So yes, we put together, I mean, this is like, this is a minuscule little thing. It's no bigger than a book. But it got us a key to the closet, which has gloves, a walking stick, and a parable? Yes. Mermaid Tears. Wait, what does a mermaid have to do with the boy who cried wolf? The light, light is mysteriously seeping out of the trunk. If only I could open it. Well, looks like there's a book missing here. Oh, I bet we can poke the, 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 the lock open. Yeah. Where is the talisman? <gasps> What talisman? Run. Go get help. I'll just take that key. I'll take that. And oh, while I'm here, I'm just gonna kind of rummage through this uh, this area over here. Don't mind me, guys. I'm I'm by no means like associated with him. He's just my dad. I mean, I, I... Do 
do they not see me or something? Because, I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm literally just like, oh, hey, guys, yeah, I'm just going to hold this open and, like, rummage through this, the, the stuff right here. Nothing to worry about. I mean, this is, this is perfectly normal and, yeah... Um, Aha! Oh, oh goodness, excuse me. Okay. So we should be able to open that with that storybook. Yes, okay. All right. And that is all the time we have for today. So probably next time we're gonna finish up this whole game, even the bonus stuff. As always, thank you guys very much for watching and Stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. If you want to see some crazy, Cheerio. So lazy, you should meet me and my friends. Kill my raven it, friend. <laughs> All right, Hubba Tubba. Oh, wow, that is a lot of gum. It's the broom to the wizard. As Dorothy proves again, in case there was any doubt, she's a whiny, spoiled brat. 